Please note that this video has spoilers for the subject. Back to the future, part three, thoughts. Let's start with how this does relate to the other two. So we have, you know, the first... The first instance of the conflict between Tannen and McFly. You know, the two families. We have, you know, discipline, happy Strickland. You know... He even, you know, they even go so far as to have him say it to his son, you know. Just remember, be, you know, be disciplined with, yeah. We have, you know, he, Marty wakes up at his mother's place. This time at least she doesn't try to bed him. I, that, that was a nice change of pace. Yeah. I like that this does go kind of back to, you know, the origins with you know, the first McFly born in America, and, you know, this sort of thing with, you know, other modes of transportation, you know, I guess, with the, you know, the first we had the car, the second we, you know, got a flying car from the future, and then now we go back to the past, before cars, trains. I... I watched this with a couple of friends, and one of them pointed something out that I thought was worth bringing up. The... The ravine is named after Clara because she was supposed to die falling into it, you know, meaning, yeah, she, you know, she died, and Emmett didn't meet her, but yet the tombstone clearly says, you know, beloved Clara, or you know, something like that. Supposedly they have, hadn't met at that point, you know, I'm thinking the scriptwriters just missed that. You know, they knew that she was going to be saved and there was going to be a relationship between them, so they forgot that she was also supposed to have died there. I also just thought that was a bit disappointing that there really wasn't any kind of... I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not that I enjoy seeing, you know, young women who can actually act, going off, you know, ravines. It's just that these films are supposed to be about, you know, the consequence of time travel, the danger of it. In this one, they even, you know, Doc is all about, you know, we have to destroy it, you know, and then you know, after it gets destroyed, he just comes back in another one. And... Yeah, there was just, there was no consequence to it. I guess part of it is also that just, she didn't, it's not like he stole her away from some other man. She, he literally made her life better. He didn't just save her life, he made, he gave her a good life. But still, the, you know, there should be just some kind of consequence, just at least something. I didn't even see, like, some hint of it. That's an, another thing. The... There at the end, he meets Needles again, you know, the character who showed up in the second one, even though he hadn't been in the first one, and it seemed like we were sort of supposed to know him. I don't know, that's at least the impression I got. Anyway, Needles shows up, you know, he says, you know, want a race? Marty seems to go along with it, but then he just backs up and, you know, turns the car around. I like that he didn't join the race. I did think the backing up at high speed was kind of... I, don't know, I guess they had to do something. It just didn't really work for me. And then it's like, oh, I was going to hit that car. My girlfriend said that maybe it was supposed to connect with how in the second movie in the future, this really isn't a spoiler, it's seen very early on, someone is, you know, has had been in a car accident or something like that, that just didn't seem to be Marty. It, 
I don't know, maybe I completely misunderstood something, but that really wasn't the impression I got. Because he seemed to be walking just fine, so... And it also wasn't Jennifer, so I don't see what the com what, what the, the consequence there of him participating in that race. I mean, obviously, you know, it's a bad thing to crash a car, even if nobody does get hurt. And maybe it was that the other person got hurt or something. But it, again, just doesn't seem to... I, I don't think there was that much left to tell with this third one. I think it would have been fine to stop with the second one. You know, you could also argue for ending it at the first one, but I really don't think... Yeah, the second one is brilliant, so I really wouldn't go that far. But I don't think that there needed to be a third one. I don't think there was anything left to tell after the second one. Also, because this really doesn't relate that directly to the first and the second one. You know, obviously everything that happened in those movies does happen in this, you know, it follows the same continuity, but it doesn't directly relate to, you know, I don't know, we, maybe Crispin Glover is in that last bit. I'm not even sure that is him. I think that might be just a stand-in. I didn't see his name in the credits, at least, you know. And, it's, and it definitely didn't need to be him. And that's just really too bad, because it was a great presence, especially in the first movie. You know, that was where you really saw him, but... Yeah, you know, it just didn't... But hey, you know, as far as a Western adventure, Back to the Future movie kind of thing goes, it was enjoyable enough. And it did, you know, still do... You know, it gave Doc a happy ending, and that's fine. You know, that a lot of 80s movies really wanted that happy ending. So, yeah, you know, for even though by now, you know, at this point in the series, we're into the 90s. So, yeah, that's maybe another thing that just didn't quite... It also just maybe didn't feel quite as 80s as the first two, and that was a real part of the charm, you know. I'm not old enough to actually remember the 80s, but I've seen a lot of material that came out of the 80s. And I, I know it well enough to recognize it by now, I would say. And this just didn't feel that 80s, and it lacked a lot of the charm that the first two had, and just didn't feel that much like it needed to exist, whereas, you know, the first movie, it would be just really too bad if the first movie didn't exist, and the second one is just even better, and you couldn't have the second movie without the first one, definitely, it's like the first one lay, really laid the groundwork, but with this one, I don't know, it just didn't, it didn't add as much to the overall franchise, I would say, as the other two. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.